Welcome. This is Anad Ufu Shaw. My guest today is international journalist, a normal international journalist. I rather say that. Groom Chala. He is a journalist who represents CGTN in the entire Africa. He shares this, a lot of information about journalism and his experiences and the challenges he passed through. Stay tuned. I'm Anwar Khalil, your host. Anadufu. Thank you. Let's begin from your birthplace. Well, I was born um, right here, uh, about 10, 12 kilometers. Uh, from Adama? It's called Wanji Gafarsa. OK. Um, it's my hometown, where the sugar canes come, where the sugar itself comes from, where uh, the former Desta, Caramela, all the candies the come candies. from. The candies. So I can, I, can, I can boldly tell you that I'm, I'm a sweet man. Uh, from the Rifti Valley. <laughs> yeah. uh, what about uh, your uh, elementary school, uh, your high school, and university? Where, where did you study all these lines? That well, I have spent most of my time in Wanji. Um, you see, that is um, a place where, by then, one of the mega uh, in industrial uh, uh, development is happening, as in Fall Wolf, the uh, sugar factories. Established by the them. Dutch. The Dutch, yeah. yes, in 1950s, uh, 60s, yeah, or something like that. Yeah. Um, you know, we had uh, two of them one in Wenji, one in Chawa, which is about six kilometers away from away each from other. The, yeah. yeah. Um, those are one of the finest um, factories that you might find in the country back then when I was born in 19. Um, 80s, uh, and then you have the the candy factory. You see the the smell of all of this combined yeah, all makes, you, makes you makes you the man. So um, when, when it comes to education, of course, um, elementary I've studied uh, in Wenji, also high school included. Uh, university I went to Haromai, I went abroad to study English and communication. Uh, journalism related uh, um, uh, stuff uh, also what what is important for journalists also uh, action uh, practice based trainings which have taken to develop myself beyond the regular education to become who I am which is a lifelong activity by the way so in short uh, this is where yeah, I am yeah, right on now. the lines <laughs> yeah. uh, as uh, you are from one year uh, have you played football ever because I know um, many, many youth from Wanji area yeah. do play football. You know, in, in Wanji, if you've seen the place, this, this, that's one of the most composed, um, comfortable places to live in. Because the factory had its own uh, uh, villages, different kinds. Uh, as per there are many pitches in, yeah, in the town. Yeah, and then the, the pitch belonged. You know, this is, it's, it's, this is a properly built neighborhood that we used to live in. I actually, I didn't, you see, the, the factory had its own compound, which we called the killer, which is the Amharic term to say a compounded okay. area for employees of the factories, the sugar factories or the candy factory. Then out of it is where we used to live um, because my father was not um, really a civil servant who used to work in the factory, rather he was an entrepreneur. Uh, so, but we, as you've said, I mean, the football pitch were everywhere, and you go and play football. That's that's the best thing that you can do uh, if you're not studying or out, out you know, um, out, out of school time. So, I think I was one of the finest players, no? The finest players, come on, turn the journalist, a finest journalist. I, I even can tell you that, by the way, I I even I begged God once uh, with the Bible on my hands, and I said, look at. All I want in my life is to be a footballer like George Weha. You remember African players were a handful of them, I mean, in European leagues. And we used to watch on Ethiopian television sure. uh, the, the, the Italian league, league. the Sierra. Sierra. So we used to, I, I was a former uh, SM Milan fan. So I used to watch George Weha doing his thing. And I, and I say, OK, maybe football is my thing. But remember. Now I'm an international journalist. I used to dream of becoming an international footballer. So minus or plus, you just take out 
footballer and journalist in. It's already international, so I think a dream has come true, no? Uh, before, before, <laughs> before I turn back to the, the local thing, well, have you ever met George Uh Not really. Not uh, really. Just the other day when he came for the African Union Summit, but uh, it was an honor to see him because uh, if we would talk of George Weha from football to a president, and he is the only African player who, who has got the Ballon d'Or, the sure. international player title. Of the year. The best international player title. I think, I think it's a quite an uh, astonishing achievement for an African like him mm. to inspire the rest of the continent, uh, the young uh, men and women. And now he's the president. And then now whatever moves he's making at the moment, I mean, that's, that's what I call game changer personality. You know what I mean? President of the land of the free. The land of the free, but uh, poverty is there. Liberia is struggling. We'll be back so to we'll, we'll be talk back about to that, that point. Yes. We'll talk about that. <laughs> yeah. How did you join CCTV? The Zen CCTV, CCTV and uh, the President CGTN. How well, did you join that? Well, CCTV, by the way, uh, stands for China uh, China Central Television. Um, it is it was by then for us one of the English outlets uh, from China, the major channel, um, which equaled uh, Al Jazeera or CNN and others. Um, I, I used to work in the local media, but before that I worked for different organizations, but in relation to the media activity, could be radio, I've done radio. And my humble beginning started from radio. And in Amharic? Amharic radio production, then English, then Amharic, you know, mixed approach as, uh, as you might uh, call it. When I started doing TV, from day one, I have thought of becoming a TV international journalist, okay? The dream started from low base, but it, it was already intact. And in my mind, whatever I'm doing in the middle, should help me get what I, where, where I want to get, which is the international media stage. I never decide on my own which media house I am going to belong to, but the opportunity comes, then I'll grab it by the horn, you understand? Then um, the, it's, uh, I, I was working at the African Union, 2011, uh, when the building was inaugurated. Built the, by the Chinese. By, built by the Chinese. And the Chinese were expanding in the continent for all good purposes and costs. Um, I was so much appreciative of that because the African Union building cost them hundreds of millions of dollars. The uh, same time, beautiful and magnificent. And yes, it's, it's a beautiful work of art, if you might also say, M not only architecture. It's not only you know, bringing brick and cement together. It's also about putting together a piece of art that can represent the whole of the continent, the while at the same time delivering a conference uh, hall purposes uh, of different sorts. Uh, now conveniently so, the, the building is doing uh, wonderfully um, right at the moment. So uh, by then, when it was inaugurated, I was reporting for uh, Addis Television, the uh, yeah, Adisaba, administration, uh, the uh, TV. administration TV. And uh, these people, the producers saw me and I said, uh, you're good, you're kind of good. Why don't you try our channel? I was humbled, to be honest with you. Your dream humbled. is on the way to come true. Yeah, I mean, I was supposed to go and look for it, but it came looking for <laughs> me. And I said, OK, maybe I've matured enough, uh, mat uh, matured enough um, uh, to, to, to try this international uh, media arena. So they did the screenshot just right there when I said yes. And then, but they said, look, what you need to do now is apply. You see now the hardest part is going to begin. They tasted my, my face with camera and how I come out in. Yeah, so I said, okay, it can work, but, but procedures need to be respected. So I had to apply. Uh, by then, there is uh, another British guy, uh, his name was Tom Walsh, who used to represent uh, CCTV as uh, their correspondent from this country. He had a uh, huge international media experience from CNN and others. And me, a young boy from um, you know, local, local media, media experience, and of course, a bit of uh, radio international experience, just a little bit, I, that was a big boot to fill. And uh, so I've applied thousands of us internationally. Uh, I think uh, one 
I've, I was lucky enough. Two, I've worked so hard to you make it You hit the happen. nail on the head. Exactly. So opportunity came, hard work came with it, and luck. All of them coming together, I think I finally got the job, but it was not easy. Then you joined CCTV. Yes. As for international radio programs, we do have many journalists in yes. Afan Romo and in Amharic as well. Yeah. But for uh, TV on English, uh, probably the only I know is you. True. I confidently tell others that Group Chala is the first Ethiopian, the first Oromo to work on international TV media house. Yes. Well, wonderful it is. But uh, let's uh, invite uh, one song to our audiences and uh, be back to the second part of our program. Uh, whose Oromo song would you invite uh, our audiences? Talk, talking of international, you know, it's not only for uh, Romo, it's also for Ethiopia, and it's also f even for the rest of the continent, it, and even across to the Middle East, the one and only is Ali Bira. Ali Muhammad Musa, or also called Ali Bira. Uh, the song, Karaman Bagada, is, uh, uh, will be invited, and uh, we'll be back with the program. And uh, Ali Bira is an honorary doctor, is a laureate, and beloved artist of our home. Origin and we we'll love it. Karaman Bagada is a girl massage of Bisata, a Sena Sabarisa. Finding the whole of Bagada, actually, the Gada system is an indigenous African democracy, which we always say. And the song talks about that system. And uh, Gumchala, international journalist, who works for CGTM representing this media house in the entire African continent. <laughs> 